EFX is a web-based system that allows users from the requiring activity, contracting, legal, and other offices to collaborate on development, review, and approval of acquisition documents within a virtual cloud-based workspace. The goal of EFX is to standardize documents and streamline processes across the Army contracting community. You log in to EFX by going to https vceadobe.army.mil and entering your password. If you don't have access or would like to request access for someone on your team, please contact the VCE Help Desk at 609-562-5988. Once you are logged in, you will see the EFX homepage. Down the left-hand side of the page, you will notice a list of categories for the smart forms that are available to you. If we select a category, DD Forms for example, we will see all of the smart forms relevant to that category. If there are forms that you use often and would like to save to your favorites, you can do so by selecting the star in the upper right-hand corner of the forms task card. If we select the double downwards arrow in the bottom right hand corner of the forms task card, more information will appear to describe the forms purpose. Select the task card to open the smart form. You will notice some tabs appear along the top right of the form. On the details tab, you will see a description of the form and any applicable dates. The form tab will obviously show you the form. While you are filling out your form, if you need to save and come back later, Always use the blue save button in the bottom left of the screen. Never use the save button in Adobe Reader up at the top as this will not save your form in the EFX workspace. On the attachments tab you can browse for and select files to upload and attach to the form. These attachments will be visible to anyone included in the forms process. You can also control the editability of the attachments with the read only drop down menu. You can use the notes tab to add any notes you would like anyone involved in the forms process to be able to see. You can also control the editability of the notes the same way with the read only drop down menu. If at any time you would like to return to your home page, you can easily do so by selecting the VCE EFX text in the upper left hand corner of the page. Selecting the Start Process button at any time returns you to the list of smart forms. If you have received an email that you have a smart form waiting for your action, you can view that form by selecting the To Do button in the navigation bar along the top of the page. Here, you will also see any forms you have started and saved as draft or any forms that are assigned to any groups that you may belong to. If you select the tracking button, you can search for active or completed processes that you started or participated in and view the process details. The process details show the tasks, assignments, and forms that were part of the process. You can review any attachments or notes that were included with the form and see the current status of any tasks. Select the Preferences button up from the top navigation bar to set your view and change your settings. Just like your email, you can set your status as out of the office and specify what the status change does to your tasks. I can select that I am currently out of the office and select the applicable dates and times. Then I can set the default action for my tasks while I am away. I can choose to keep tasks to myself with do not assign or I can choose another EFX user to assign them to. I enter the name of the user I am searching for and press the magnifying glass to search for them. I select the user by highlighting their name and clicking select user. If I wanted to assign certain forms to certain users, I could do so by using the process exception options. In the first drop down menu, I select the smart form I want to assign or keep in my list. If I wanted to assign the DD1594, I select that. 
and then in the second drop down menu I select find user and search for them the same way. In the top right, you can select the Queues tab to define which users you would like to share your queue with and which users' queues you have access to. Select the plus sign next to the action you wish to take and search for the user. Again, highlight their name and select Share. In the future, you can select the Help menu in the top right-hand corner and you will find a list of instructional videos for each form, as well as this video, available for your reference at any time.